I'm the type of person that constantly has an extremely long to-do list. I sort of pride myself in being productive and getting as many things done as I can. Recently, I felt like I'm running on autopilot. I'm doing the same things day after day, never stopping to just sit in silence and think about how I'm feeling. I've seen this romanticize your life trend going around for quite some time now. When I first saw it, I thought, this could never be me. I thought I wasn't able to romanticize my life because my life is imperfect and it's definitely not aesthetically pleasing. But I'm sick of running on autopilot, living every day to check off my to-do list. I've decided I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna start slowing down, enjoying the little moments. I encourage you to do it with me. Romanticize your life. Take the time to appreciate your day-to-day -day life, no matter how mundane some parts might be. Even the small things in your life are important and valuable to your happiness. You can take any boring, mundane activities and turn them into something magical, something beautiful. Romanticize your morning cup of coffee, your makeup routine, your morning breakfast. Romanticize your time studying by listening to jazz music, lighting a candle. Your life doesn't have to be aesthetic. It doesn't have to be perfect. I read a quote that said, romanticizing your life is a way to explore mindfulness by being present in moments of your daily life. Through the act of romanticizing your life, you become more in touch with your actions, thoughts, and emotions as you go about your day. Mindfulness is so important for our mental health. It has been shown to decrease anxiety and depression, as well as increase productivity and longevity. Romanticizing your life is gonna look different for everyone. Focus on the things that bring you joy, whether that be baking or reading a good book and getting lost in the story. Unplugging from your devices, spending time in nature. You have the power to choose what you do with your life, what you do in your small moments, in the free time you have. Listen to your body. What is it telling you? Is it telling you to rest or is it telling you to clean. Whatever it is, romanticize that shit. I always have a really hard time deciding if I want to make my videos aesthetic or realistic. If it's realistic, I feel like I'm gonna have stuff all over my desk and it's just not gonna look as pleasing, but I also feel like it's more relatable. I don't know, what do you guys prefer? Aesthetic videos or realistic? Like, do you like the vlog style or the curated content? Let me know what you guys prefer. I think I personally like to watch the realistic videos over like aesthetic videos, but I feel like I like to watch aesthetic videos too. Maybe I'll just continue doing a mix of both, I don't know. Anyways, I really need to get studying. I woke up, or I slept in pretty late this morning. Well, at least late for me, like eight. So I have just had like a self-care morning that I already kind of showed you guys and I'm trying to just really romanticize my life like make everything that I do calming and relaxing and like fun by lighting a candle and making sure my desk is clear that is me romanticizing studying also putting on some like study music I love to listen to like jazz or spa music while I study so that is how I romanticize studying also those breakfast cookies this morning Fire. You guys should make those. Anyways, I think I'm gonna study for like an hour and then make my grocery list and go to Whole Foods. I'm literally wearing sweats and a cute sweater. I think there's this misconception that we have to live in this perfect, beautiful area to be able to romanticize our lives. But the truth is, you don't. You don't have to live on a beach or in New York City to be able to appreciate what your home has to offer. Take some time in the morning to make yourself a filling and satisfying breakfast. 
instead of just taking a granola bar on the go. Take your warm cup of coffee outside and sit for a few minutes to read your favorite book. Put on your favorite outfit. If you're like me, I love to put on a comfy sweat set to study. I feel that I'm better able to focus on what I'm learning when I'm comfortable. Okay, I studied for about an hour. So now I'm gonna make my grocery list. I actually got this book from Thrive Market for free with my Thrive order. I was very excited and I have really good recipes. So I'm gonna look through this and pick a couple things. I think one of my favorite parts of the week is sitting down to plan out my grocery list. I just find it so fun flipping through all my recipe books and scrolling through TikTok to find different recipes to make for the week. my outfit of the day I literally just took off my sweats and put on some jeans just to go to the store but when I come back home you best believe I will put my sweats right back on um my underwear is literally wet because I forgot to put my clothes in the dryer and apparently I don't have enough underwear I literally feel like I have 20 pairs of underwear but somehow I always run out so anyways off to Whole Foods <laughs> Hot bar date. Hot bar shit. I got some fried rice, baby potatoes, cauliflower, a sausage, and I forget what this is now. Come on! Yeah! You gotta show the people what we got, baby. Okay, so we just got back from Whole Foods. Oh shit. Spent a whopping like 200 bucks. I wasn't gonna mention how place much. is expensive. I went to Trader Joe's last week and spent $75. And this week I went to Whole Foods and spent 175 Anyways, Cracking up those we got a fresh loaf of sourdough. We got some Hue chocolate. This is one of our faves, a vanilla crunch bar. I got some flour tortillas. I wanted to get the Siete ones, but they were like ten dollars, so I was not about to spend that much. Alex said that he likes this. Revive probiotic seltzer. Ten out of so ten. I'm gonna try it. Try it right it. now. Damn. You really went for it. All right, we're trying it right now. Yeah. We'll do it. Do it. It's good. I'm a little fine. I'm I'll a little drink disappointed. It. I'll <laughs> drink it then. This is just fire. Try it. It tastes like sparkling water. What do you want it to be? Poppy. It's poppy. <laughs> Poppy's sweet. Oh wow. It's not okay. supposed to be sweet. It's like, okay, but it was like the price of a poppy. Like I want it to be sweet. It has sugar in it. How is it not sweet? It's got cane sugar. Whatever. You can have it. I'll drink it. Got some beans, because we're going to make some flautas. I should not put that on the internet. I don't know how to say that. Flautas. I got some tahini for Separate way too much money. We gonna fuck up the nine. Mm -mm -mm. I had some bok choy in my teeth. <laughs> leave that in. Please leave that in. Oh my god. Literally yesterday I went to film a fucking TikTok and I smiled on camera. I had black bean right here in my mm. teeth. <laughs> From lunch that I had eaten like three hours prior. Okay. Some carrots. Little baby carrots. A rotisserie chicken. A whole chicken. ass chicken. Khalifa Farms. It only has three ingredients. Okay, that's it for this haul. That's the fun stuff. Thanks for coming. Good. See you next time. I got food. I'm leaving that in. No! I just spent the last 30 minutes scrolling through TikTok, so we can't be productive at every moment, right? But I'm done now. I'm putting my phone in my drawer and I'm gonna sit. And I'm holding myself accountable. Let's get to it. 
I'm gonna do at least another hour and then I think I'm gonna film a reel and then maybe edit and post that and then I'll study a little bit more. I'm really not motivated because I have a month until my next exam. So I'm like, do I really need to start studying yet? I don't know, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna light a candle and we're gonna romanticize it. We're gonna romanticize my studying. I hope after watching this video, you take a moment to appreciate the little things in life and realize that you have the power to make your life beautiful. Thank you for watching.